Hello, today I'm going to show you how to rotate any object around a circle. First, let's create guides. Press V control and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Click in the corner, hold and while you are pressing down the control key, drag your mouse to the center of the artboard. Now release the mouse and then release the key. Next, draw any shape you would like to use. Here is my first example. To rotate an object, first click on it to select it. Then select the Rotate tool or press the letter R on your keyboard. As soon as you select the Rotate tool, Illustrator puts a reference point in the center of the selected object. To rotate an object around its center point, click anywhere on the artboard, hold and drag your mouse in a circular motion. If you would like to rotate your object around a different reference point, you can either click on the existing reference point and drag it to a specific point, or single click on that point. To rotate several objects at once, first select all the objects and then select the Rotate tool. This time Illustrator puts a reference point in the center of the selected group of objects. And like before, you can rotate these objects around their center point or move the reference point and rotate them around that specific point. Here I have a protractor template that I've created beforehand. It will help us visualize the whole process. If you would like to use the same template, feel free to download this file. I included a link to it in the description below. Let's zoom in on this part. Select the pen tool, swap the fill and the stroke, change the color to red and draw a straight line. Let's rotate this line by 10 degrees. First select the line, then select the Rotate tool and click in the center to move the reference point to this intersection. Now click anywhere on the artboard and drag your mouse up to the 10 degree mark. Notice the grey box next to the cursor. This indicates the radius value. Trying to reach the exact 10 degree mark can be very difficult. Let's undo it. I will show you a much easier way to do this. With the line still selected and the Rotate tool active, first press and hold down the Alt key. Notice the small dots next to the cursor. Now click in the center to set the rotation point. Illustrator automatically opens a dialog where you can type the exact angle. Let's type 10 to rotate it counterclockwise by 10 degrees or negative 10 to rotate it clockwise. Let's zoom out. Now we will rotate the same line by 45 degrees and repeat it around a circle. With the line and the rotate tool still selected, press and hold down the Alt key. Then click in the center to set the reference point and open the dialog box. Now type 45 and click copy. To repeat the same process, either go to Object, Transform and Transform again, or press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard several times. My next example is a small triangle. Let's say we would like to make 22 copies rotated around a circle and at the same time make sure they are spaced equally. First select the triangle, then make sure to select the Rotate tool and click in the center to move the reference point to this intersection. Now I'm going to move and copy my triangle to about this point and then press the Ctrl and D keys to make more copies. Notice that the number of triangles is way off from what I was aiming for and the last triangle is too close to the first one. Let's undo it. To do it right, first select the triangle, make sure the Rotate tool is still selected and then press and hold down the Alt key. Click in the center to set the rotation point. Now type 360 over 22 
which will give you a total of 22 triangles and will space them equally. Click Copy and then press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard 20 times to get a total of 22 triangles. By using this method you can repeat any object around a circle and space it equally. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.